Yeah. Hey guys, it is Sonia coming on live tonight, getting ready to knock out a project. And uh, one pop on and say, hey, I was just uh, laughing with Carrie here. We're working late, shipping out junk monkey paint all across this wonderful country. We're just laughing because with my new setup, it's like I need a pair of binoculars to see you guys from all over there. So as you log on, please say hello. Tell me who's with me tonight. Seriously, I gotta walk up here. Joe is the first one out of the gate to say, hey, Sonia, how are you doing? Hey, Ashley, my other favorite girl, Jolene. Jolene, how are ya? Marsha. Debbie, hey, 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 Debbie, how are ya? Lori May is here. Let's see, who else is here? Diane Stein. Hello, guys. Hello, back to ya. Teresa, how are ya? Bessie, oh, uh, so nice to see you guys on tonight. What are you guys up to? Hey, Liz, I'm getting ready to uh, knock out some uh, terracotta pots, okay? Love my terracotta pots. These guys have been sitting out back in my shop for probably like the last two months I did a project and I bought a lot of them and these are the last two that I needed to use up I think tomorrow I'm gonna have to go find some more although I was just talking to Carrie here and she was telling me that they're hard to find so about you guys who loves the terracotta pots right I love them love them you can do so much with them okay so let's go ahead and get started for those of you who are joining me don't know who I am I am Sonia owner of Jug Monkey Paint Company. My awesome partner in crime, Matt, is not here today. He's working. He's working his uh, his monkey man magic, right? And uh, making paint and all that good stuff. So we're going to knock out a project together here. And if you follow me, you know that I love to do things on a budget. Love to do cute stuff that you can do around your home without breaking the bank, right? Have fun while you're doing it because painting is therapy. Let me just tell you that. So first off, I'm just kind of going to get some of the, uh, the gravel, the ground that... Uh, Splash. You know when it rains and you get that splash of dirt that comes up the side of stuff sometimes? So because these were outside, I'm just going to knock a little bit of that off and get ready here. But I'm using our Junk Monkey paint, so honestly I'm just doing this just to get the dirt off. It's going to stick to it just fine. So I dug out my colors and so here's the deal. Decorating my porch outside the door here. Man, I must be the last person left to decorate their porch. Because you know how that goes, right? You're busy decorating for everybody else, doing your own thing. And uh, then before you know it, it is like, okay, it's time to do mine now, right? So I'm going to use a fun color tonight. It's called Life is Grape. Has anybody used it before? I mean, I'm telling you, it is like the most awesome, vibrant um, purple color. And I love it. So this time of the year, it's perfect like when you think like witchy hats and things like that and uh you know halloween fall but i will tell you that when i decorate i tend to go like instead of decorating for halloween i'll decorate for fall instead of decorating for christmas i'll decorate for winter maybe i'll put a few things up but i don't go overboard with it because i <laughs> i i like a low maintenance porch right so I like to be able to do it and it serves me for a long time. So are you like that? Do you get all into it? Or do you try to keep it where you have something, let's say generic enough where it spans some time and you don't have to feel like you gotta go all out and buy all new decor again, right? So, but I've got a couple pieces that I do bring out that I like each year, put them back inside so that way when I bring them out, they're in good shape. But I just don't go overboard with the whole thing, right? So. Let me go ahead, finish painting the purple on here. So these are gonna go outside, and I'm really thinking that I need some color. Need some color, go figure. If you follow me, you know that I believe everything needs color. So we're gonna give some purple on here. This is called Life is Great. And I can't just have fall pots, right? Like I need whimsical. I need whimsical. I can't help it. I'm a whimsical loving person, so. Um, yeah, so I've got some plans for these two pots, and I'll take you along for the ride. So what's everybody up to tonight? Tell me as you log on. Tell me where you're watching from, too. That's always cool. It's always neat to know, um, always fun to know how far this video reaches. You know what? In fact, I'm feeling like a giveaway. I'm serious. Okay, let's just do that. Anybody who shares this video... Okay, type share once I know that you shared it. And let's see, I want you to comment and tell me shared 
and tell me what your favorite color mum is, as in M-U-M, -M, okay? The pretty little flowers that we put outside every fall. So type shared and tell me your favorite color and I'll just scroll with my finger and pick a random person and I will mail you, if you're in the US, a jar of our Jug Muggy paint and I'll pick a fall color for you, a mystery fall color and then maybe you can replicate what I did. Um, and if you're outside of the US, then we'll have to send you something like maybe like a really cool collectible Jug Muggy t-shirt. All right, so let's go. Let's go for fun. All right, let me dry this real quick. Although I could put some, you know what, before I hit the dryer, I'm going to need to paint the rim too, aren't I? Thank you guys for sharing. You're so awesome. We'll do that at the very end, okay? Dark red moms. Oh, it was so hard. I picked some purple ones. I'll show you in a second what I got today. But it was hard. Like, I'm serious. It was hard to pick a color. There was like yellow ones and there was the orange ones and the yellow. Yellow and there was like orange, yellow, orange. There was purple. There was burgundy colored ones. I mean, seriously. A girl who loves color. It was hard to pick. It was hard to pick something. So now I'm just going to paint the rim on it. The cool thing with mums is they really overflow. So, because they usually grow pretty big, right? Got mine today for all of $6 a mum. What do you guys, is that a good price? $6 a mum? What do you think? Got them at a local, um, local garden center. Small business. What do you guys pay for your mums? And then tell me what your favorite color one is. I'm curious to know as well. Burgundy? Yeah. Seeing a lot of burgundy, right? Because it's so, it's neat. It's neat to see that deep, deep, rich color. And, you know, when you put that outside on your porch, it is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. You could have the most rickety porch, but put up a cute little pot with some vibrant, vibrant color flowers, and it's gorgeous. I, you know, you do not need to have much in life, but you can have a clean house and, uh, you know, messy's totally okay. Clean house and put some uh, decor around. You you know, you could tell, like I say, the most rickety porch. I don't care. But put a little bit of pop of color and you have got something going on, my friends. There we go. All right, what do you guys think so far? A little bit of, um, can you see that? It is Life is Great. And then I put the vintage white on the top. Okay. Let's go ahead and dry that real quick. I'm going to come over here and talk to you guys. So I want to see what you're saying. Yellow. You go for two seventy eight at Walmart. What size were they, Karen? The ones I got are supposed to be six inch, but I think they're bigger. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm terrible at measurements. Okay, math is not my my thing. So I don't know. I just said to the guy, I'm like, which is the you know, which which falls under this category? And he's like, any of these. Your mom is the rust shades. Pam likes the yellow and orange. Yeah, right. Hey, Joe, Anna, how are ya? Depends on the size. Three to ten dollars. Yeah. Hey Trudy, how are you? Brandy, love the purple. I know. I love purple too. So I'm thinking I'm going to put these outside. I'll show you in a second how I bring them all together. But I'm going to put them on either side of the steps that kind of come up to my shop. And um, in tomorrow, I've got a bunch more to do as well. Maybe do some different designs tomorrow. But I've got a design for the two that I'm working on tonight I'll share with you guys. Hey Danielle, how are you? You've got two huge yellow ones. That is awesome. Ooh, 449 for a medium size. Yeah, right? Seriously. Colette, date night was awesome. We need more date nights, right? Star, where the heck have you been? Girl, I've been on here the last two nights. This is like day three. Where have you been? Where have you been? You want to see the shop? We're open Wednesday through Sunday, 11 to 4. Uh, let's see here. Burgundy. Man, we're seeing a lot of that, right? So this is almost dry. I'm going to keep working my way around here. From Indiana, Laura, how are ya? Where did it, you get the pots? The two pots that I have here that I'm using, I did a, um, a home talk one time. Do you guys remember when I did the three pot stackers? That was really cool, right? It's on my blog if you wanna see it. Go over to styleshabby.com and um, you might even see them as one of the top posts I did there. But you know when you do like the, the bigger one and then the medium and then the small and then I filled it with live plants and I tried desperately to keep them alive? Yeah, don't ask me how that went. But anyway, um, so these were some pots that I had bought extra. We didn't realize it. So they've been sitting behind my shop, and I need to get them painted because I'm not going to go buy more without using what I got. I just can't. It's just not in me, okay? i got to make use of what I got. That's why I'm like that person that, 
needs to use up all the paint that's in the paint tray. I can't help it. Can't help it. Love the purple and burgundy moms. Yes, yes, yes. Can you see mine in the background right here? The purple ones? Love that project. That was a good one, wasn't it? Yeah. Maybe tomorrow. I got a design for the two that I'm doing tonight, but my plan is on the landing outside my shop, I want to maybe have about eight terracotta pots, four on either side of the step up. And I want them to be fun and whimsical because, you know, you know me, right? I had to junk monkey the lamp post outside. So it's now um, the color of, it's either Be My Honey or Last Straw. It's yellow, basically. And then I had to paint my monkey sign outside and I had to have teal post on that. So if you come to my shop, it wouldn't make sense for me to have normal looking terracotta pots, right? Absolutely. Is that the hair dryer we kept killing at the paint night? Yes, Brittany, this is the beast. This is the beast, right? This is the beast. It's funny. We did a paint night recently. You guys might have seen me post that, and uh, which I'll show you what we did that night because a lot of you guys have been messaging me and asking me if I would do show you how to do it on here. But so funny. Listen, when you get a heat gun, if you wondered how your electrical is doing, let me just tell you. You get a heat gun like this here, it sucks a lot of juice, and that's how you find out what, how your electrical is doing, okay? So we did a paint night at a, a local lodge. And yeah, we kept blowing the fuses, right? We had a good laugh, but you know, good memories, right? Good memories. I'll show you real fast. Hang on a second, hang on a second. This is actually the sign we did that night. And uh, I'll share it with you since we were talking about it right now. This is what I did when I kind of taught as I was doing. Can you guys see it? So I'm going to do a live and show you how to do the welcome sunflower um, since I've had so many requests. So we'll do it live together. How does that sound? Sound good? And in fact, how about I post it and um, give you guys a heads up so that way you can get the materials and we can do it like this and I'll be, I'll be like, okay, all you gotta do is, here's what we're gonna do next. If you guys like that, send me hearts, send me thumbs up and uh, I'll post it and we'll make a big old fun event out of it, okay? There might even be wine and popcorn, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see what I'm feeling like, all right? There's always, there's always time for wine and popcorn, seriously. All right, let me see here. So I can't just leave it looking all white and purple like that. You know, I gotta put something on it, okay? So this is, this is, if I, I would lie if I told you I was the most organized person on the planet. Ain't, I just ain't, okay? But what I do is I buy, ever go to like Walmart or places like that and you buy all kinds of packs that have randomness in it and they're all kinds of different sizes like of um, paint sticks and things like that. So, you know how you get, you get the spongy ones too, but you know how you get stuff like this in it and you're like, okay, now what am I going to do with these sponge on a sticks, okay? Well, this is the time of year where I love my sponge on a sticks because they're perfect for polka dots. So, if you are not a good circle painter, I'm just going to tell you right now, these are so much fun, okay? So, I've got a bunch of, um, a bunch of these. Ooh, I got a small one here too because that's fun because I could do fun, I could do small polka dots with these, okay? So let's go ahead and have some. That was Matt calling us. Babe, I'm on live. I'm painting with my friends. Give me a second. I'll call you back in just a little bit. Call you back in just a little bit. All right, so let's go ahead and poke it up, poke it up this sucker, okay? Let me put some out into a tray. I don't care if my paint touches. It's okay, no biggie. All right, and then I'm gonna do a little bit of the dab, 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 dab. Stuck on there. That, that ain't too stuck on. Some furries. All right, let's see. Let's try that again. Okay. So now I am just going to put some polka dots. I didn't put a second coat of. Um, oops. Let me get that big drip. I didn't put a second coat of purple on because I like the distressed old, non-perfect look. Right. That's just who I am. What do you guys think so far? Isn't this fun putting polka dots on? Joan says, hey, Matt, miss ya. Yep, Matt's making paint. He's burning the midnight oil. He's burning the midnight oil. There we go. That's pretty. Now I'm going to have to turn that into a bigger polka dot because I managed to like make that one bleed. Let's see here, which is fun too. Let's see if I can make a big fun polka dot out of this one. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm going to have to put some big polka dots in to make it all work because I just did that. All right, let's see here. This is simple, right? So if you can't, or if you're not good, and this is actually, I was gonna say, this is good if you're um, like using the, I think they're called pouncers or something like that. 
I call them sponge on a sticks, but they're perfect for creating polka dots um, if you're not good at doing, you know, circles and that sort of thing. And the other thing I was going to say is this is a fun project to do. And like I say, I'm doing it in kind of Halloween colors with like whites and purples. And uh, this is the Be My Honey right now I'm putting on here. But when this goes outside, this is a project that you can do and um, do with, you know, do with the kitties, right? You can do with the kitties because how fun just to give them a sponge on a stick and let them have a go at it. Pretty, right? Think I should do some polka dots up here? What do you guys think? Or should I just leave it like that? What do you think? Polka dots up top or just leave it and work with it, okay? Yeah, right? So maybe I'll just put some more on here. We'll just see where it goes. That's the fun thing, right? This is supposed to be whimsical, not perfect. So it's mindless things that you can do, but it's paint therapy. It's total paint therapy. I'm going to add some more polka dots because I want to. I could even add a different color polka dots if I wanted to. That would be fun too, right? Put a few more over here. I like it when they look distressed and I kind of like pounce off some of the um, colors. That's always fun. All right, I'm liking that. Okay, I'm totally liking that. I'm half tempted to put some big polka dots up here or something, but I don't know. Maybe I'll just leave it for right now. So let's go ahead and let this guy dry. This is just fun polka dots right here. Monkey dots. There you go. <laughs> Absolutely. So for my other one, let's see here. What color? Let me think for a second. Maybe I'll do some black on this one. Maybe I'll do some black for the base. Hang tight, hang tight. So this is my black velvet. I'm gonna go ahead and put some out on here. Don't need a whole lot, but oh, let's see, but let's go ahead and do the bottom. Maybe I'll do the white top on this one, a white rim on the top of that one as well. Let's see here. So purple polka dots pretty. Renee, it's true. There's a such thing as paint therapy. Um, if you do actually, if you look into it, when you paint, your blood pressure lowers um, because when the, the whole thing is when you get into crafting, whatever that is for you, like I'm curious, what's your favorite thing to craft at? Are you guys all DIYers on here? If you were to, um, you know, what's your, what's your choice of crafts? Like what would be the thing that you would if you could spend your time doing, what would be your thing? And on top of that, what happens is when you are in the zone of doing your thing, maybe you've got your music on or, um, you know, you're really into whatever it is that you're doing, your blood pressure lowers and uh, we forget about the things that, you know, the adult things we have to do, right? So we just uh, get in the zone and it's a nice stress reliever. Awesome stress reliever. I don't think I could go a day in my life without painting. True story. True story. A lot of times people say, you know, I'm good at a lot of different things. I want to start a business. What should I do? I always say to people, if money wasn't an object and you could do anything you wanted and you didn't even need the money, what would you still find yourself doing? Chances are that's your passion because you would do it anyways, right? You would do it anyways. So for me, painting would be that thing. All right, go ahead. Painting and DIYing, right? There's no better satisfaction than doing stuff yourself. Yay! All right, so this is black on the bottom here now. I think I'm gonna do a white rim as well. Paint, 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 heck yeah. Yes, Brandy, you love to paint too. You do wreath making, Anita. How awesome. Phyllis, any craft, as long as it's quick, easy, and immediate satisfaction. Ain't that the truth? I used to cross stitch, cross stitch like when I was in high school, and uh, I enjoyed doing that, but man, <laughs> it was a lot of work, right? And you had to like stay focused for a long period of time because it took a lot of little X's to make up a picture. Anybody else do that before, ever do any cross stitch? It was always one of the crafty things that I would do growing up because I had to stay busy. And you know, when you're a young person, it's not like, you have a whole lot to do. But I did a lot of like um, making jewelry for myself and cross stitch and those sorts of things. But I love the paint part because yes, 
it gives you that immediate satisfaction and immediate change, right? So, do you guys all like change on here? When you were younger, you used to do it, Debbie. Yeah, me too, right? Painting thanks to Sonia. Hey, Ashley. Well, if I've inspired you, girl, then you know what? That makes me happy. That makes me happy. Because there's no better feeling in the world than knowing that you inspired somebody else to do something, right? Because it's so much fun. So much fun. And you don't have to break the bank. That's why we came up with our own line of paint because, you know what? I ain't using no fancy brush. Um, I don't need to have fancy products or a whole product line to be able to make my, my piece beautiful. You can just do it on a budget. You like painting and crocheting. Oh, very nice. You know, crocheting is really like a dying art. Um, a lot of people, they don't knit. Where I'm from back in Newfoundland in Canada, there are still people that knit and, uh, you know, like honestly, every year we would get new mittens that a family member would knit, my nan would knit and things like that. But nowadays you don't see it so much, right? It really is like a dying art. So I'm always amazed when I meet people that do that sort of stuff. I used to drop stitches and my grandmother used to try to teach me how to knit. Man, I tell you, I think I knit like scarves for my Barbie dolls and that was about the extent of what I could do. <laughs> that was about it. Because the Barbie dolls couldn't talk back and tell me that they didn't want to wear it because the scarves were squished, right? <laughs> Poutine is life, Samantha. I'm telling you, girl. Yes, I'm from Canada, from Newfoundland. I met Matt. Um, while on the job in Canada, told him I would never move here, and because uh, all my family was back home, and then look what happens, right? Now I live outside of Pittsburgh, um, but yeah, that's my home, and actually every year on my birthday, you know what I get, Matt makes me every year on my birthday? Poutine, because he knows I love it, right? Everybody had poutine before? Not know what poutine is? Do I need to fill you in? Do I need to fill you in? You love baking, Debbie? See, that's a total creative thing, right? It all manifests itself in different ways. Me, I am the most impatient baker, cooker-upper you ever want to meet because I like things like, I, I'm so impatient. That's probably why I like, um, you know, like crock pots and casseroles because you just dump it all in, okay? I gotta show you something, okay? This is. When I say that, I'm, I'm being honest, okay, because when I say about being an impatient person and like a terrible cook and just, not a terrible cook, but just no patience to cook, right here, my friends, can you see that? When I say I like casseroles, this is me, okay, trying to eat quickly, uh, but get my vegetables and things like that, found this book, okay, apparently it's an as seen on TV book, I didn't see it until now, crock pot. Five ingredients or less, okay? So that's totally like, yeah, that's totally me, right? I can totally do five things or less. But they're called dump meals. Has anybody else seen that? Anybody else seen this this uh, slow cooker? Love my crock pot. And I can totally do five ingredients or less. Throw them in here, come to work in the morning, throw them in, and then, you know what, give it four to six hours, and I got myself a meal, right? Anybody else try that? So when I say that, I mean that, okay? I mean that. I am a... Let's just get on with the uh, the cooking, okay? Just give me the food. Dump cakes. So, made the investment in the dump meals, the dump cakes. Anybody out there trying to get... Are they good recipes or are they like the stuff that, you know, soups that, that feel like made of nothing but broth? Tell me, okay? Tell me, did I make a mistake? <laughs> You just saw that book, Lori? Yeah, I think I got it for like $8, okay? I got it at the Dollar General for $8, all right? Google poutine to me. Oh, Phyllis, I'm telling you, french fries and gravy, and then basically like mozzarella curds. <coughs> Sometimes I cheat and just do regular mozzarella. But uh, yeah, absolutely amazing. And then if you want to take it up a notch, you can put some stuffing, like uh, some, we call it dressing some dressing, savory dressing on your poutine, and it is absolutely amazing. Let me stir up. I haven't used this color for a while, so I'm just gonna stir this up real quick. Berry dance, polka dots, that would be so pretty. Yes, Linda, you're reading my mind. You know where I'm going, right? You know where I'm going. I'm just having fun with it. All right, let's go ahead and put some, uh... so this is a color we have called Lucky Clover, <clears throat> but I, I, I think it's perfect for Halloween. I really do. Oops. See what, you know how I say don't put a whole lot on your sponge? So yeah, do what I say, not as I do. All 
All right. Do you ever go to Smoke's Poutinery? Where is that, Samantha? I feel like I've heard of that somewhere. Is that in the U.S.? I'm telling you. Maybe I need to go. Hook me up. Where is this? Where is this? Oh, I, I'm loving this. I'm loving the green polka dots on the black. Okay? Let me just tell you that. Loving, loving, loving. All right. Let's see. Let's keep going. These pots are heavy to hold. Hey, Texas. How are ya? Yes, Michelle. My night's going great. My night's going great. No complaints, right? No complaints. Just working behind the scenes, doing what we do, and getting a little DIY in because... Man, I'm the last person to get my shop decorated outside. I need to do some stuff. There's actually a scarecrow contest coming up. We were just talking about me and Carrie here. My friend who's helping me ship paint to you guys everywhere. Um, we were talking about how there's a scarecrow contest in town. <clears throat> you think I should enter? Maybe you guys could help me design an amazing scarecrow. Has anybody seen something? Something I could do. Just for fun, right? Just for fun. So we moved to this really cute, I love Ligonier. It was a good move for our business. We moved uh, from out in the boonies in a big giant building to a very small, smaller space, um, but in a beautiful little town, right? Oh my gosh, Lori. Yes, you could use your one stuck of corn. You saw Matt's farm, right? Who saw Matt's farm outside? It's still going strong. Yesterday he checked it and he told me it was, <clears throat> now I ain't a farmer's daughter. I'm a fisherman's daughter. I can talk fish and ocean things. But he tells me that it's a, was it, no, was it popcorn? Is, it a, is there a st style of corn called popcorn corn? Carrie, does that sound stupid? Maybe it's bread and butter. I don't know. There was something like that, okay? Bread and butter. What was it? He told me what kind it was. So his farm is going good. For those of you who don't know, uh, we had some, a pile of dirt moved, uh, transported to the front of our shop here when we moved in. And I guess it came from a farm, and so we've been weeding things like carrots out of it and uh, other vegetables that have, like, taken root there. But Matt kept the one stalk of corn. Just one. Not anything else. Just one stalk of corn, all right? Let's see. Hey, Jerry. How are you? You're finally recovering from Hurricane, Har from Hurricane Harvey. Oh, dear Lord. How is everybody down there, right? How's everybody doing? I guess it's, uh, you know, it really hit hard, and it takes a while to recover from something like that. I'm so glad you're on here and that you're okay. All right. What well, do you think I should put some white dots in there? That would be cute, right? I got this little small spongy, and I'm thinking that could be really cute. I'm just going to dip it into the can. Let's see here. Let's see how this goes. Put some down here. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that. He's ready to see it with the mums in it. So if you're joining us and you didn't hear before, I'm having some fun tonight. I'm going to share and um, send out a can of our ever loved Junk Monkey paint. I'm going to do a mystery fall color and uh, something for you guys. So that way you can paint something outside maybe for your porch um, or inside, whatever you want to do. All you have to do is share the video and then type below and say shared and tell me what your favorite color mum is because I want to know. I want to know. You're welcome, Jerry. Hey, Deborah from Ohio. Hey, Melissa. Thanks for sharing, girl. Appreciate that. So, yeah, nothing fancy going on here. Just adding some polka dots to a terracotta pot to make it all funkified. All right. All whimsical. Just for fun. These are the kind of projects that you can do while you're watching TV and just having fun with it. Kind of fallish at the same time using colors that are when you think of like Halloween and that sort of thing, right? So, like I say, colors that span the season so I can keep this up in November and not have to take it down when Halloween is over. All right, let's see here. I'm gonna dry this burgundy tarot. I hear it again, burgundy mums. Vicky shared as always. Thank you. Molly says yellow, Janet says yellow. Okay, Michelle says shared. Michelle, what color mum do you like? You like, you like, yeah. yellow's fun though, right? Yellow is fun. Rust, that's nice. Love that color too. Love that color. Lots of yellow and lots of burgundy. Yellow and burgundy. Carrie, what's your favorite mum? Yeah. Burgundy? Yeah, it's 
it's like deep, rich, velvety. Right? What'd you say? I bought burgundy and yellow. Did you? See? That's what everybody said. I think that might be the top vote on here tonight. Burgundy and yellow. All right, let me clean up my mess so we can see what our moms look like in these two cute little pots, right? Again, not aiming for perfection, just aiming for fun color. Something that screams Sonia was here, all right? You like rusty orange and cream? Oh my God, that's so pretty. Rusty orange and cream. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Lavender, Sandy, you'll like the ones I have tonight then. That's what I picked tonight was, it was so hard, but uh, it was so hard. Now I know what it's like when you guys say, when you go to my paint page and you're like, you know how hard it is to pick color? Yeah, I went to uh, the garden center tonight and it took me forever. Like, I'm sure the guy was like, lady, seriously? Can't you just pick something and move along? Because we're about to close. Matt's working. Yes, he's working tonight. White and coral. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, let's see here. Let's see here. So tonight we did some um, Be My Honey and Life is Grape. And we did some black uh, Lucky Clover vintage white. Honestly, this is as easy as it is. This is as easy as it gets, okay? So... We take it and we drop it right down. And that's what I'm gonna do. You could actually put a brick, if I wanted to raise it up a little bit more, I could put a brick underneath there. But I'm thinking that screams like, hello, stop. If, I'm, if you're standing out in front of a shop and you're seeing stuff like this, this makes you wanna come in, right? <clears throat> Candy bouquet, I have not, I have not. Yeah, Patty, I think it's cute too. And you can do these all different sizes, but, uh, I had to use these up and like I say I have a bunch of more that I want to get done but this one is like a more of a lilac color can you see that so pretty uh, but yeah I think I might put a brick underneath it that way the limbs don't feel like it's so constrained in a pot and they can kind of like pop out a little bit more pop out a little bit more so there we go so we have got our yellow and purple <clears throat> and oh, these are heavy and go eat some dump cakes. This is just our green, white, and black. And there we go. I'm gonna put those outside. And then of course, I picked up some pumpkins. Picked up some pumpkins too. Where'd they go? Somewhere. Somewhere here. So, I'm just thinking, throw a few hay bales, put my pumpkins. I think it'll be beautiful. Oh, we lost a limb there. It's okay, we'll stick it back down. All right. I'm just thinking, like, how cute would that be, right? Outside, my front porch, easy peasy, knocked out. All you gotta do is pick your favorite colors, right? Thank you, Jenna. I, uh, Jenna with the pizza slices, you're so awesome. Absolutely. Jenna, my favorite pizza maker. She always takes care of me at Little Caesars. Love, love the deep dish. Love deep dish. All right, let me pick somebody here, guys. And I tell you what, I think I'm gonna do, I don't know, you'll either get something like maybe a ginger spice, you might get a last straw. You might get a Be My Honey. Um, I'm thinking something fallish like that, right? Absolutely, let's see here. All right, I'm gonna scroll back, people. I'm scrolling back. I'm just like, I can't even see the names. I'm just doing the scroll with the finger. I'm gonna scroll back, I'm gonna scroll forward, and then I'm just gonna land on somebody. All right, that's pretty much as, that's as, as elaborate as it gets tonight. Okay, let's see here. Let me see here. Let me see here. Somebody who said shared and gave me a color. Let's see here. All right, I have got a Kathy Stafford Corbett. Kathy says shared comma yellow. Let's see if Kathy's on here. Kathy, I'm gonna give you like 20 seconds, and if not, the scrolly finger happens again, okay? Scrolly finger. All right, Kathy, is she still on here? Now I guess I gotta scroll to the bottom to see if she actually comments. Tell me if you see her in case I miss her there. Let me go back down. Congrats, Kathy. Kathy, waiting to see if she's here or not. Let's see here. All right, Kathy, she's here. Okay, Kathy, make sure you message me as soon as I'm off of here. Go to junkmonkeypaint at gmail.com, uh, pull it up in an email, and send me your address, okay? And I'm going to pick a mystery fall color and send it out to you just for fun, just because I feel like it. All right, thanks for hanging out with me tonight, guys. I'll put these outside tomorrow. I am loving them. Hopefully you can see them well. 
so easy so hopefully you find some terracotta pots do them in all different sorts of sizes you can put them on your step on your um, corner on your chairs you know put them everywhere but it doesn't have to be anything elaborate just get some like round sponges and some junk monkey paint and pick your favorite colors all right you guys have a terrific evening and maybe i'll see you back on here again tomorrow by the way i almost forgot i'm on home talk tomorrow home talk at 3 p.m eastern standard time and i'm going to be painting a piece of furniture okay Join me on Home Talk tomorrow, and we'll just talk about painting and uh, give something a really fun transformation, okay? All right. Talk to you guys later. Thanks for being on here. Bye.